Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum from New Orleans, and I would like to take about eight minutes to share with you some comments regarding barriers to enter your urologic practice. In this video, I will cover just a few more than 10 barriers for patients to enter your practice. Barrier number one, poor initial contact. When a patient calls the office and the receptionist answers in the following fashion, doctor's office, please hold, puts the patient on hold and you may find that if the receptionist doesn't get back very quickly, the caller may hang up and call another doctor for their appointment. Instead, I'd like you to consider having the receptionist answer in the following fashion. Good morning. You've reached uh, Urologic Associates. My name is, how may I help you? I can assure you the last option is an opportunity to create a good first impression on the caller. Barrier number two, having patients have difficulty getting access to the practice. Just imagine a patient with symptomatic urinary tract infection receives the message that nothing is available for weeks or months. You can be sure that she will be calling a competitor or to go to an urgent care center for her urologic care. One of the solutions is to leave open slots every day for emergencies and urgencies. Barrier number three, having an antiquated website. A website should be able to load in less than three seconds. And a website should also be mobile friendly as many patients are going to be communicating with their mobile phones instead of their PC. Finally, I'd like to recommend that your website list the practice's financial policies. I think it's time that we have become transparent regarding the fees that we charge our patients. <clears throat> Number four, poor online reviews. I have covered with you in a previous video about managing negative online reviews. And I think this is very important that every doctor have between four and five star reviews. Number five, poor signage. You need to make it easy for patients to find you with good signs giving patients access to the practice. Number six, make sure the patient has convenient parking. Number seven, make sure the practice is handicapped accessible. By the way, it's the law today that patients, that practices have to make their practices handicapped accessible. Number eight, a unwelcome reception area. Photo on the left looks like a bus station reception area. On the right looks like a comfortable home living room where patients can comfortably wait until they are received by the doctor. Number nine, a dirty restroom. If you have a sink that uh, contains uh, specimen cups that have spilled, that the trash container contains overflowing uh, tissues and uh, uh, paper. Uh, if the toilet uh, seat is not clean, this is a unfriendly atmosphere for a patient and can create a very negative impression of the practice. Number 10, important to answer all of the patient's questions at the time of their visit. With your hand on the doorknob is not the time to start answering patients' questions. You need to, I suggest that you conclude 
every patient encounter with the comment, have I answered all of your questions? Barrier number 11, it's important to return email and phone calls in a timely fashion. I consider 24 hours is a reasonable timely fashion to answer or follow up on emails and phone calls. And finally, number 12, patients want to be able to schedule change or cancel uh, appointments online. More than three quarters of patients want to be able to cancel online, yet less than 3% of patients are able to schedule their appointments online. Bottom line, make it easy for patients to enter your practice. Take down any or all of the barriers. In the next video, I will discuss barriers to exit your practice. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you would like a copy of my white paper on barriers to uh, enter a practice, kindly contact me at the email address shown on the last slide. Thank you.